think in that way, everybody has another life right. that right. your parents are not aware of. And maybe it's not, you know, you know, having, you know, sex after school. Right. But everybody has another life. You know, the way your friends know you is not the way your parents know you. Right. Correct? Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. So you say, uh, let's talk about that secret language, Michelle. Yes. I didn't know any of this. I have, yeah, I have, I've gotten a whole new vocabulary. I did not know any of this. this. Salad tossing. This is me. I'm thinking I'm cucumbers, lettuce, tomatoes. Okay, okay so, okay. so what is a salad okay, toss? Okay, a toss salad is, get ready, hold on to your underwear for this one, oral anal sex. So oral sex to the anus is what toss salad is. Hi, Mom. Okay. <laughs> a rainbow party is an oral sex party. It's a gathering where oral sex is performed and rainbow comes from all of the girls put on lipstick and each one puts her mouth around the penis of the gentleman or gentlemen who are there to receive favors and makes a mark um, in a different place on the penis, hence the term rainbow. So, okay, um, and so what is... So what does pretty boy mean? A pretty, pretty boy. boy is a sexually active boy, someone who's been fairly promiscuous. So it isn't what maybe what you would have thought pretty boy meant in your and time. And dirty means what? Does dirty, dirty mean a dise- means a diseased girl? And along with that, the term that some teens are using to mean HIV is high five, high, and then the Roman numeral V, high five. So if, if you got high fived by Jack, you got diseased by Jack. You mean, got, you he got gave HIV. you HIV. He gave you HIV. Yeah. So that means you shouldn't go around saying they're little kids anymore. I was like a little boy and I went, give me high five. So yeah. you, shouldn't, you shouldn't do that anymore. And if right? suddenly your kids want to make salad all the time, yeah. you should be wondering. Okay. <laughs> and b- booty call is pretty uh, yeah, that's, common, Yeah, right? that's pretty pervasive. Yeah, that's an uh, early morning or late at night call for sex that involves no real relationship. Maybe 2 a.m., guy calls girl and says, meet me at so-and-so location. We have sex, we leave. Booty call. Y'all knew that. Y'all got that, right? Okay. (laughs) Uh, And then there's the term hoovering, which is a term used for a girl having an abortion. Um, Yes, you get get the reference, the sucking of a hoover vacuum. She's having herself vacuumed out, so to speak. So these were just a few of the terms that I, you know, heard teens referring to. I got a whole new vocabulary book. So what would happen when they would say she got hoovered to you? Well, if somebody, if you're talking to somebody in the beginning before you got so right. hip here. Yeah, before yeah. I got hip. <laughs> what would you, what would you, if somebody said she got hoovered, you would just say, what do you mean I by said, what, Yeah, what do you mean? What do you mean? What does hoovering mean? And she'd tell me. Are rainbow parties pretty common? I think so, at least among the 50 girls that I talked to. This was, this was pervasive. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. And, and what are the guys saying about all this? Well, I didn't talk to guys, but certainly in the experiences that I've had in talking to the boys, they don't see sex and this should be no surprise to any of us, in the same way that girls see it. They don't see it as a way to uh, feel closer or to have the kind of intimacy that maybe a girl is looking for. They see it as a way to earn stripes or be cool with the other guys. And let me tell you something, girls are doing more giving than they are getting. They are giving the boys the oral sex. Absolutely. Some of the boys aren't even asking them for it, and they are offering it. Really? Yes. And they don't consider that to be sex. They don't consider that to be sex. They consider that to be outer course as opposed to intercourse. <laughs> so if your child is having outer course, they're not talking about coursework in history. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next, the average American child is exposed to over 14,000 sexual references per year. We'll show you some of them. She's got sex appeal that screams. I always get my man. But Thursday, Phoebe's attracting no good, just the bad and the ugly.